Uh, Coach, do you want to just walk us through this game here? A little bit of everything and from start to finish. Yeah, for sure. Obviously, we weren't ready to play <clears throat> when the game started. Um, you know, that's probably the, as bad a 10-minute stretch as we've had in a long time. We've just flat. Um, and then, uh, you know, we built a little momentum at the end of the first, second period. We had tons of looks, a lot of energy, um, you know, and then we get the lead, you know, with six minutes to go and we get a, a real tough bounce there. Um, you know, uh, and then unfortunately, you know, we lose uh, in overtime. But, um, you know, it, it's just a tough bounce, I guess. I don't know what else to say. I know that, you know, they didn't create anything. They just threw it at the net and uh, and they find a way to tie it up. I'm curious to know what you said at the end of the first period after the last five minutes of generating some opportunity or generating some momentum and then coming out as hard as you did in the start of the second. Well, I just didn't think we played hard enough. And I, and, and I think to a man, I, the players would agree with that. Um, you know, you can't, you know, after playing Florida and Tampa, you know, those three games as hard as we did, um, you know, obviously we didn't come out and play with that same desire. Um, but, you know, after, you know, g them taking it to us in the first period, we played significantly better. What did you think of Thomas Shabbat's game here, logging well over 30 minutes and just looked indefatigable? Yeah, no, he was he was outstanding. I mean, he's up and down the ice. He had scoring chances. He had he you know he did a little bit of everything there tonight. So um, you know, it's it's too many minutes for him. But you're trying to win. Um, you know, you're trying to win the game, and uh, you know he gave us every chance. Uh, you paired him with JBD in the sort of the second half, certainly the third period. Uh, your assessment of the young defenseman? Well, I thought he was really good. Uh, you know, especially in the offensive blue line, I thought he did a lot better things. You know, with the puck, he got some shots on that. I think he had a real good scoring chance in the second. Um, you know, certainly, um, you know, it's a it's a big time game to be in. I mean, uh, right to the last minute, you're playing big minutes, so um, you know you can't get that kind of experience anywhere. And he he did a really nice job tonight. DJ, a one one on one trip. Just how do you categorize these, uh, this free free game road trip? Well, I, I thought it was a heck of an effort. I, you know, we could have had better in Tampa. Could have had better tonight. Um, you know, played really well in Florida. Played well at home. So, we're in every game right now. Um, you know, tonight we we find a way to lose with a what I think is a you know real tough just bad balance. Um, but you know, we're, we're we know the the recipe you know for success tonight for us to win. We probably needed a couple power plays and and, and maybe we score there. But uh, penalty kill gets a shorty and doesn't a great job again. Uh, you look at the, uh, the Stutzer goal, the former inning goal, just highlights how important speed is in this game in the present day. Just, you know, how crucial it is having guys who can skate that fast to generate offense? Well, for sure. And you can, they're only going to get better because they're going to get stronger and then they're going to, you know, be able to hold onto the puck more on offense and, and do all those things. But, um, you know, that's a fast line, especially with Brownie, you know, how hard he works and digs pucks out for those guys. Um, you know, and I thought Nick Paul had a really good game for us too tonight. I, you know, I would have liked to see him get rewarded, but I thought it was one of his better games.